win in overtime, obviously pretty satisfying. Eh? No, absolutely. Uh, you know, those games are never easy. You know, they're coming in and uh, you got to meet their work ethic, which I really didn't think we did early. I thought we got it worked in that first period and uh, we didn't give up much. I mean, but we defended a lot of that period and they only came up with three chances in our uh, in our analytics. But, uh, you know, we just didn't have the puck enough. And uh, I thought we got better as the game went on, but uh, our passing was off. You know, the power play wasn't sharp, so it wasn't one of our best games, but uh, uh, not an easy game to play. Uh, and at the end of the day, uh, where they are in the standings, it didn't really matter that they got a point. It was just about us finding a way uh, to get the two points. Uh, certainly don't like that we blew a lead twice there in the third period. Um, to not be able to hack it down and finish it off in the regulation. But uh, it was nice to get an overtime win. You know, it's been uh, an Achilles heel for us this year in terms of trying to, to get those OT wins. And uh, it was nice to see one go in for us tonight. First one at home, right? Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, we haven't won a ton. You know, it's like we're one and eight or something crazy and uh, lost a number in the building, I think, four to Wilkes-Barre alone type of thing. So, um, you know, it was just nice to, you know, we had a set play off the face off and uh, we had a chance there. And then Paul Carey did a heck of a job to, to make sure we still had the puck possession there. And uh, we tried to not let them change uh, before the goal there. So uh, we got some fresh guys on the ice and, uh, you know, Juice had a heck of a night. You know, he's obviously, a, I think, our best player, uh, no doubt, tonight. Can you just talk about Juice's play overall this season with his offensive power that he's brought? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you look at a year ago, uh, I said to someone this morning, you know, Juice and Bergdorfer were a pair, and Juice had a heck, you know, heck of a second half last year, and he just kept getting better. And, you know, Bergie was a great, great player for us. But all of a sudden, a year later, I mean, Juice, I mean, he's – He's the real deal, and then you, know, you got a Gilbert with them. So uh, they're an excellent pair, and they got some chemistry together. And uh, you know, Juice is going to play for the Caps one day, just a matter of when. And uh, he's certainly uh, feeling good about himself and, and playing with a lot of confidence right now. General impressions of uh, Bowie's game tonight. I thought Bowie was good. I mean, every player makes mistakes. So I think there was a couple of mistakes there. Uh, but overall, I liked his game. I liked his gap control. Um, you know, a good way for him to come back into the lineup. And, uh, you know, I think we're, we're glad to have him back. And uh, we'll, we'll sit him out tomorrow night. You know, there's no use him playing all three. And then we'll get Williams back in there tomorrow. And then we'll make a decision uh, for Sunday uh, with the Bridgeport game. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we're not going to put a player back uh, if he's not 100%. Uh, it was his call. He was clear for contact earlier in the week. And, um, you know, originally we were told the first week of April, and then we were told maybe in St. John's. Uh, but, you know, the kid did a real nice job of, uh, of rehabbing and doing whatever he needed to do to get, to get back early. And, um, you know, he told me yesterday that he was ready to go. And I said, okay, you'll play one for sure and maybe two. Uh, and we just felt that with the possibility of needing him to play or wanting him to play Sunday in Bridgeport, it would be smarter to play him tonight and give him tomorrow off. Was there anything you want to change about the game plan for tomorrow against Hartford? Well, I think we just got to meet their work ethic a little bit better. I didn't like our, uh, our play in offensive zone play. Uh, I thought that we didn't support the puck enough tonight. Um, you know, the power play, which, you know, is the sixth in the league at 21.6% this year, uh, just was a little bit off. The passing was off. And, and that is the type of thing that gives us momentum as well, five on five. Um, so you put all those things together, and uh, it wasn't our best game. But, uh, you know, we're not going to worry about it now. We got two points, Bridgeport lost. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know, we, we're, we're better tomorrow. Um, and we can take their will away. You know, the game plan was to try and take their will away from the game in the first period because, you know, when you're a type of team like Hartford where they are in the standings and they're, you know, obviously not making playoffs, if you can get a big lead or, or take it to them, get a couple goals, you, you know, they tend to, the game tends to go your way in a positive direction. But uh, it didn't go that way tonight. It went the other direction, but fortunately we got the two points. Especially in the first. Yeah, I, I thought tonight was one of their better games in terms of defending against us. Y you know, one of the keys for us was sustain ozone play because we've been able to generate a ton of grade A opportunities against them over the course of the season. But I thought they did a, a real nice job of defending and, and protecting middle in that tonight. Uh, and they've always been a team that was really good at shot blocking. Um, I just didn't think we spread them out enough. You know, we didn't go, the game plan was try to go east west and use the back of the net and then spread them out. Um, and we didn't do that enough. Now, we got Toward, you know, Boyd's line, I thought, did that as, as the second part of the, the game came. And um, obviously, Mitchell's 
you know, we got the puck. We worked a really nice cycle there, and Juice moves over to Gibby, and, and Gibby makes a nice shot with a good direction, uh, redirection there for Mitchell's goal. So um, I thought we did it in pockets of the game, but really of the four lines, I thought Boyd's line really was the only one that really uh, I felt good about in that second half of the game in terms of sustained his own play. And uh, Stevenson's line certainly picked the pace up in the third period. Uh, but tomorrow night we'll just need more guys ready, more guys ready uh and you know, hopefully, we'll have a better uh, success in that ozone. Yeah. The way he was playing up there. What's what's the decision now? Especially even you said last week on uh, Gaisley. Right. He's ready to go. Yeah, it's 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 you know, it's great to have depth, but uh, when we've got some quality players that are, are sitting out. You know, even Matthias Bachman, who looks fabulous in practice in terms of what he might be able to bring to the table, um, just going to have to wait his turn. And, uh, you know, we thought about uh, potentially putting Gaisley in uh, tomorrow. Um, you know, I guess that's still a possibility, but with Verona, Verona's definitely playing tomorrow. Um, you know, from our perspective, you know, we weren't going to let Verona play four four games and four nights. That didn't make any sense at all. So with him traveling up today, you know, I told Verona that he was going to sit tonight. We'd go with the same lineup with plus Bowie as uh, Sunday against Providence, and then he'd, get, he'd go back in tomorrow. But there's no doubt there's at least one forward coming out tomorrow for Verona. So, uh, you know, we'll watch some, some game film tonight and tomorrow, and we'll, uh, we'll try and make the best decision possible and, and try and keep everybody as fresh. But uh, there's certain guys that are going to play, and, and we'll uh, – they're going to have to be patient and, and do the right thing for the team at this time of year. Uh, Seeing Fowler's season ending yesterday, any discussions? With him you guys? Yeah, he's going to fly in Monday. Um, you know, he's not going to make the trip to St. John's, but he'll be here on Monday. He's going to practice with us Tuesday and do our skill development uh, in the morning before practice. And uh, morning skate Wednesday, he will not see any action the first week. Uh, he'll stay back with uh, Gusterson and uh, Mason Mitchell and potentially one or two more. Um, you know, Helms is not making the trip, so he's going to be able to skate those guys when we're gone. And then obviously Mike Wagner's here to work them out. So um, we just felt it was best to get him into town so he didn't have that seven to 10 day pocket of not doing anything overseas. Um, but uh, you know, stuff in his face and maybe having a beer or two somewhere. But uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get him here Monday and uh, get him going. And another kid that's, you know, probably gonna have to play some games. Uh, but at the same time, it's it's pretty hard. We're not gonna deviate from the lefty righty when it comes to the, the, the. It's just it's it's your puck moving ability is way way too good with three lefties and three righties. And obviously, guys like Juice and Ness aren't aren't coming out. And Gilbert's not coming out. Lewington's not coming out. And we've got Bowie fighting with Willie. And then we've always got Labrie and Siegenthaler. So we've got some really good depth on defense, uh, considering I think we used four or five PTOs this year from the ECHL. So These are not playoff games, but they're, you know, the intensity is pretty close because you how now do you kind of crank up the intensity at the same time realizing, all right, it's still the regular season here? Well, I thought, you know, we've really pretty much been in playoff mode since we went on that trip to Providence and Providence and Bridgeport there. And, um, you know, I thought, uh, you know, since then it's really been playoff hockey for us and it's going to be the rest of the way because I don't see any of the top five teams in our division all of a sudden disappearing, you know. So we just got to take one game at a time, and we've got five weekends left, including this weekend. We've got to win our weeks, you know, and it sounds crazy, but if you win your week and get four-plus points over the next five weeks, that should be good enough to get you in. Thank you. Okay, thanks.